Faster, faster! Manager Marcus Albeck went from talking to yelling. The training session was just 15 minutes old, but Albeck was enduring yet another Hansa player who stopped chasing yet another slightly inaccurate pass. Albeck turned to coach Radapritza and switched to Swedish. Titta på dem! Look at them! It's like they don't understand what it takes. He suddenly stopped the drill and gathered the players around him. What's up? Most of you just give up when it gets tough. It's like the Bayern München game all over again. Some of the players squirmed and some looked down on the grass. But a couple of the players looked directly at Albeck and one of them spoke up. But boss, that was so unlucky. Striker John Verhoek said. We were as a better team. Winger Nick Omladic filled in. Albeck interrupted the whining. Yes guys, you are right. I'll call the football association straight away and tell them. I'm sure they'll give us a few extra points out of pity. Albeck had to nerve himself to withstand the urge to look away from the group of players. The team was doing slightly better than what was expected of them before the season started. With the team resting comfortably in 7th position, neither players nor supporters were disappointed and there lay the problem. Albeck was neither happy nor satisfied and he wanted the players to hunger for more than a mid-season 7th place in the third tier of German football. We lack the willingness to run the extra metre and the composure to score when the chances are there, he continued. And he was right. In the last couple of games the team had kept on creating chances like before, but the team, and Nick Omlendic in particular, had stopped scoring. The only player who had impressed in the last couple of games was striker Pascal Paya, and not even he had been great. No player should feel safe about their spot in the starting eleven. He wanted them all to strive for constant improvement. As the players went out on the pitch again, Pascal Breyer snuck up on Nick Omladic. I bet there will be a young Swedish winger arriving in the January transfer window to take your place if you don't get your shit together, he said with a smile. Omladic didn't smile back. Instead he decided to, for the first time in his life, try to run that extra meter. Hello and welcome, Michelin FM here, welcome to Swedish Mafia, the FM adventure where we try to take Hansa Rostock back to the Bundesliga and we try to do it with a bit of a Swedish twist. The final aim of the series is to get six players starting in the starting 11 for Hansa Rostock in the Bundesliga and they need to be Swedish. Uh, but we have quite a long way to go until we get there. As you saw in the intro, the form has not been great since we got our winning streak ended by FC Bayern 2. Uh, we managed to draw two games against Meppen and Duisburg and we lost a game against Erdingen. And now it's absolutely crunch time as we go into the second round of the DFB Bogal, the German Cup, and we are facing VFB Stuttgart. <laughs> this is one tough cookie considering how we have been playing lately. If we just look at their squad, they have a couple of great players. They have this guy, Mark Oliver Kempf, who is an excellent central defender. And he has another excellent central defender with him in Holger Badstuber, uh, who has 31 caps for Germany. He's starting to lack a bit of acceleration, but he's an excellent player, except for that. In midfield, they have Aurel Mangala, who is really good Belgian international. They have Gonzalo Castro with five caps for Germany, also a very solid player. And up front, they could have had Mario Gomez, the former legendary striker of Germany, uh, but he is injured. <laughs> but that is, doesn't seem to mind them, considering their depth. Instead, they are playing Nicolas Gomez, Nicolas Gonzalez, I mean, a young Argentinian player. Uh, so this will be one tough cookie to 
eat, beat, crumble. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> One hard team to win against, at least. They are second in the Zweite Bundesliga after 11 games. And as you saw, we are down in seventh place in the third league. We are only two points away from the promotion qualification game since uh, Bayern München's second team are not allowed to get promoted, but we are far off from the automatic promotion positions. Uh, we have another problem, and that problem is injuries. If we just look at this, we have quite a few really long-term injured players. Joseph Baffo, that might just be good for us because he has been awful when I've done these these episodes. Uh, a bit more worrying is that first keeper, Marcus Kolke, is out for two to three months. And then we have striker Daniel Hanslick out for two to six months, so we don't know when he'll be back. Uh, and also Eric Engelhardt, who I haven't been able to play at all. Uh, he, I don't know when he will be back. So going into today's game, it would be amazing if we could get some sort of results against VfB Stuttgart. And this is the team that are going to do it for us. The new keeper who's playing is Zebald, <laughs> not looking that good. Uh, we have Rible out on the left, decent-ish, not that much more. Riedl, we have Riedl and Riedl, uh, that's easy to keep apart, I guess. Uh, Bulov, who is the better of the central defenders, even though he is slow, I don't know how he will handle the quick Argentinian player who's going to play against him. Out on the right, we have probably our best player, Butzen. Uh, and in front of him, we have Nick Omladic, who has been the best assist player so far for us. Volman will be, be the playmaker and Nate will play on his left. He's actually on loan from Stuttgart. So uh, that's at least one thing we have up on them. Uh, another loan, Opuku is out on the left, perhaps one of our best attacking players. And up front we have smirking striker Pascal Bayer, who has started to shift from missing every single chance to actually scoring a couple. And we also have Verhoek, who will play there. We will fill up the squad because we are allowed a couple of more subs in this game. Let's see if we can cause an absolute upset, make a couple of money and get even further into the cup. And we are off. They start with the ball straight away. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it would be nice if we could at least keep a clean sheet the first minute of the game. Of course, a bit of an upset in the previous round, but this would be almost like a giant slaying if we managed to, to beat Stuttgart. I don't really have any hopes that we'll do that, but you never know. This could be a sort of David versus Goliath thing even though I don't think we've touched the ball yet. Deflection, deflection again. Can we counter on them or will this be a Stuttgart highlight? They are working the way towards our box, get the ball away. This is not good and we are one all down after three and a half minutes. Not the start we wanted, but we have been absolutely dominated so far. Hopefully this will be a wake up call for us so we can start can start playing better. I was gonna say start playing like we used to, but we've been pretty bad lately, so it's probably exactly what we're doing. Probably playing exactly like we've been doing for the last couple of games. Let's see if we can win this one then, make something happen. We win it, come on, get forward. Opuku tries to cross the ball, gets it back. Can we have a shot? Mm, deflected, another chance perhaps. Butson tries to get it in, but it's not a problem for the Stuttgart defenders. Instead, they counter on us, get the ball down. But it's offside, okay.
Can we win it again? They're just keeping the ball away from us. I will keep the tactics balanced for now, but we could go with a more positive or attacking mentality if things doesn't improve. For Hook with the ball, he's not fast. They can just walk past him, but at least he keeps the ball. Gets out to Apoku, he can work a bit of magic. Gets into the box, no, another deflected shot. We have not troubled the keeper so far, but at least we are not completely dominated anymore. Omladic gets it out to Butsen again. Butsen loses the ball. Can we win it back, or is this a counter-attack? We keep the ball. Decent build-up play. Switch flags. Will you? No, you don't want to do that. Okay. Now you're doing it, exactly. Back to Puku. Puku's having a lot of the ball for us. Tries to get through, and that's a Thunder Bastard by Baia. Too bad I hit the post. Would have been lovely if that would have gone in. But as I said, we are not completely dominated anymore. Here's another chance for us. For Hook. They get the ball away. Can we start over? Omledic on the wrong flank. Can he beat his man? Yes, he can. A lot of people in the box get in that empire. Fuck! Fuck! It's 1 1. That's a lovely tap in from him. And we are back in this game. We have actually looked solid since they scored their opening goal. And I, I think we're in for a chance. This is not over yet. This is not over yet. Can we cause some serious upset here? The game seems to have evened out. Not a lot of chances, not a single chance since our equaliser. Uh, I guess it's okay, it gives the players a bit of a rest and then we can start attacking again. Unless they score from here. <laughs> that was close, but not a goal. We are approaching half time and this has actually been a decent half, but I think Marcus Albeck will follow up that sort of pep talk he had a training the other day. So he is going to tell the players that he is not happy. I'm far from pleased. Yeah, they love that. Now they are trying to get used to his tough love. So the players are fired up. He kicks our man down. What happens there? Nothing. Get the ball away. Can we counter on them? Opuku with it. Yeah, he finds Baia. Baia, run with it. Omledic. Volman. Okay. I was starting to get high pitched there, but we just lost the ball, and here they come. Decent pass in between us, but a nice save from. Backup goalie Sebald. I actually thought that was going in. And I would have blamed our injured centre back. Here we come. Button, no one is approaching Button. He just runs with it. Then he starts walking with it. Gets into the hook. But they get it away. Couple of half chances now. Can we counter on them again? What can Brian do? Brian beats his man. Finds Omledic. Omledic was on fire a few games ago. But he's not finding that form again. Another deflected shot from him. Corner for us. Gets the ball in. If they get it away. Hopefully they don't counter hit. No, they don't. That's nice. Now it's more action packed again. Let's hope that this can sway over in our favour. We are certainly not looking like punching bags at least. 
Notte, distance shot. No, it gets it back in. Now we are working the ball nicely. Don't lose it there. Get it in instead. Volman. Apuku! Oof! Nice chance. Lovely save from Kubal. Would have been absolute scenes if that would have gone in. in. Uh, for Hoke tries it, but not good enough. A couple of our players are starting to look slightly tired. Old Bad Stuber with the ball to win it. Nice. Young Narte wins it for old man. Bad Stuber only just runs with it. Butson. Switch it. Yes, we like that. Opuku. Opuku. Underwhelming finish, but we are looking good. I have a feeling we are going to score the next goal. And because I said that, we are probably going to get absolutely crushed. Okay, they hoof it forward. Silas comes forward and he scores. Of course he does. Silas Wamangituka. I should never have spoken. Okay, we are two on down. But I don't think that we are the worst team. This is a very even affair. Can we get one back again? Fahook! Fahook! John Fahook. He is having the game of his life. Can we squeeze a hat trick through from him? That would be absolutely lovely. We are back 1 1. And it was certainly not because of me. Didn't make any tactical changes. What about this? We are 2 versus 2. Omladic gets it to Fahuk. He gets his chance, but it's not a great shot. Naughty and Opuku are looking tired. Let's just watch this highlight and then make a couple of subs. Can we counter again? We've had so many decent counter attacks. Fahuk runs with it. Paya, was he offside? He was offside. Okay, we pause it there for a bit of tactical shenanigans. Let's get young Asmus Pelufton. In instead of a puku and in central midfield we can bring in Reintaler, oh he's shite and Schunemann he is even worse okay Nico Neidhart then okay he's not good either hmm this is a bit of a worry Granatowski is slightly better we'll go with Granatowski this doesn't feel great no, that wasn't the guy we're going to sub. Going to do that. 18 minutes left. Can we cause a serious upset? They are building from the back. As I say that, they <laughs> hoof it up to Gonzalez. Here they come on the flank. Can we win this one and counter on them? Yes, we can. Fahur gets the ball. Get it forward, son. Okay, that's not what we wanted to see. Bulov, for heaven's sake, Sebal saves him. Ten minutes left, we are starting to look slightly tired. They get another chance. They're hitting us on the flanks now. They get the ball through. Silas, lovely save from Sabaut. He is certainly looking like he wants to fight for that number one spot in goal. Five minutes left. Perhaps time for his final substitution. Do we have anyone to bring in? Osman Atilgan. On occasion called Atil Gol. He can come in instead of... Instead of who? Omnid has just been excellent and so has for hook. I don't want to get them off. We are taking Bry off. I don't care if they look tired. They have been absolutely amazing, so they better stay on the pitch. Three and a half minutes left. We get a chance, hopefully. Telefson with a nice back heel. Riebel to Volman to Telefson. Get it into the 
not into the opposition. Glenn and Tovsky wins it back. What to do? We are looking cautious with the ball. What now? Riedel to Riedel to Riedel to Riedel to Riedel. Lovely commentating there. We lose the ball. Oh, they counter. They hoof it. Riedel to Riedel to Riedel. They lose. Mm, no. Silas comes through and he shoots and he scores. Oh, that is upsetting. Ah, oh, that is not good. We throw what we have forward. Riebel to Riedel to Riebel. That didn't work. Silas runs with it. Fires it in. And we are looking like we are losing this one. Can we have one final counter attack? Get it forward, Sabal. Don't just stand with it. Get it forward. Bulo hoofs it up towards Atel Gol. They just send it back. Hoof it again then. One more chance. We deserve one more chance. For Hook to Atel Gan. Gets it in to Omnadic, they get it away, and that is probably the final chance of the game if we don't get gifted one more. Omnadic sends it in, and they get it away again. We are getting knocked out of the cup, which was probably what was predicted going into the game, but I think we had a decent game. We deserved more, which makes this perhaps even more disappointing we were actually unlucky the players like that uh, we better regroup now we fall to a late defeat I'm not even gonna do a press conference we get 302 K which isn't awful but we would have liked to have another round another big team and a bit more money in it <sighs> disappointing but we have to focus on the league now Get a few better results in, start to win games. We are playing Unterhaching next, uh, and they have been even more disappointing than we have. They were tipped to get promoted, and then we have Köln, Grossasbach, Zwickau, Jena, Chemnitz, 1860 München, and then we will be back for the Würzburg game. Würzburg are top of the league slightly surprising hopefully we can get another good run of form going after the motivational speak from Marcus Albeck and we can shake this loss off our shoulders and I will see you soon again I very much appreciate you hanging out with me I'll see you soon bye hi Miglinio FM here under my infamous flight of stairs I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this episode that I had a lot of fun recording. I hope that you liked it and if you did I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and gave me a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. Uh, there are new episodes out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and then we also have the occasional stream on Twitch on Tuesdays or Thursdays and during the weekend I have sort of a weekly summary blog post coming out. Uh, I know it's an ambitious project but I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope that you will too. Links are in the description and on michelinofm.com if you want more information and before I leave you I have a few words to say. You are appreciated, you are beautiful and have a good day. Until I see you next time, auf Wiedersehen!